atonement for the flesh. Our mouths are cursed with bitterness. Our hands are quick to spill blood. Our path is ruin and misery. Jibara's men came and took Mother Garai away. Why? Why did they take her away? What do they mean by a sacrifice? What did you promise at the Hall of Judgment? No! I beg you, please save Mother Garai. in the forest. Did you really imprison the divine tree? That trembling, the forest, it's weeping. We should prepare for the worst. Our enemy we love, and for the tormented we pray. Grant us the beast of knowledge, the power to touch the spirit. Judgment! Now! I'm sure she's there! Please, hurry! I shall ask you one final question. Why? Why did you come to Cyrus? I am not blind, you know. What were you scheming to do with that girl? I came here for this very day. I came to purify the souls of the Narcan. No, of all the beasts of knowledge. after all of this. You came to steal the souls of the people of Cyrus. Is that not so? I've known it from the beginning, Mother Garai. Or should I call you by your real name? Azura, the goddess of death. Yes, indeed. You may call me that. I am the incarnation of the Divine Spirit, Azura. The one who spins new souls from the old. Now is the 
time when the lore of the beasts of knowledge shall be laid to waste, and the wisdom of the wise shall be rendered meaningless. Jamar, ghost of foolish knowledge, phantom of Gehenna. Some seek a sign, others desire knowledge. Such is the power of Elrum. But Elrum's foolishness is wiser than man. And Elrum's weakness is stronger than man. Light and darkness, the two souls. The chosen ones of light and darkness shall leave this accursed state to eternal rest. For the two spin our souls and lead us to the promised land. The time of gathering is at hand. Our souls become one with the chosen. This is the time of gathering that Mother Garai spoke of. I had this feeling that Mother Garai's spirit shot right through me a moment ago. All kinds of things went through my mind at once, and before I knew it, this is what happened to me. All the villagers' souls went with Mother Garai to the place of Elrum. Your father's disappearance, the wrath of the Onibubu, the sacrifice. It was all, all for this day. Me, the Nagi chieftain, knows all truth. That's what Mother Garai said before she departed. Tradition, fate, curses, demons. We, we are bound by so many chains. But those chains, they are also what have bound our hearts. They are what make us ourselves. Ugh, oh, I feel so weak. I may not be able to stay like this much longer. You speak the truth. Your soul shall at last become one with the will of the forest. And the flesh shall be lost. Staying inside a cocoon can prolong your life, but only until the transformation completes. There is little time left. Leave the rest to me. Mabu, you must stay in the cocoon.
Well then, you probably know not what has happened. Our souls now wander through space and time, seeking new bodies. And a new ordeal shall begin when our souls return to the flesh. The brilliance of the ring Mabu gave you is proof that you are the chosen one of light. The chosen one of darkness is waiting for you beyond this dimension. The path to him shall test your devotion. It shall be a journey of the heart. The outcome shall form the ordeal that our souls await. Go to the moth forest. There you must seek out the Nagi chieftain at the temple of Kemuel. Before you go, don the coat of Rikets. It is my final gift to you. I wish you luck. Chosen one.